Trade Unions CITU started in Chennai, Tamil Nadu from 23rd January 2020. The conference is being attended by over 2,000 delegates across different sectors such as banking, telecom, defense, construction, coal, scheme workers, among others. They are representing around 60 lakh members from 25 states and fraternal organizations. The conference is being held on the Golden Jubilee year of CITU formation and the centenary of the founding of the first central trade union in the country. The conference also gains importance as attacks on the working class and the labor rights are rising under the current regime led by the Badia Janta Party. Amid widespread protests across the country against the Citizenship Amendment Act, National Register of Citizens and National Population Register, the conference passed a resolution demanding the repeal of CAA and the rejection of NRC and NPR. Terming the CAA as an assault by the BJP government on the secular foundation of the Constitution of India, the resolution called upon the workers of the country to carry forward the movement and uniting all other toiling and democratic sections of the people till these demands were met. The conference is being held in a situation where the working class of India is facing serious challenges. One is uh, attacks on their livelihood, on their births, on their working conditions and living conditions, on their rights, their basic rights. And the second is the BJP government's attacks on the democratic rights of the people, on the basic constitutional rights of the people and the human rights also. At the same time, the government also, after coming to power for the second time, it is trying to implement the Marxist agenda of Hindu Rashtra, converting the secular country into a communal country based on this Hindu form, which is called the Hindu Rashtra, the RSS agenda. So these are the challenges when the working class, particularly the CIT, groups are strong in the slogan unity and struggle. It is fighting to unite the working class so that the united working class can face the challenges of its neoliberal attacks. The government is trying to divide the working class into religion and caste basis, regional basis, etc. and also divert their attention, disrupt their unity from the real issues. The opening session of the CITU also passed a resolution in solidarity with the people of Jammu and Kashmir calling for restoration of people's and workers' rights. On the occasion of the Republic Day, on 26 January, the national flag will be hoisted and the delegates will take a pledge to defend the constitution and the unity of the country. The conference will conclude on January 27th after a massive public rally which will be addressed by the CITU leaders.